Did you get a dig off him? Yeah, he nutted me and I came out the still. He couldn't have timed that better. Now he feels all guilty, that's the good news. Well, what's the bad news? The bad news is I sold him a pup. I had to throw him a bone. Go on, who is it? Elmo and the cousin. And what's he paying for that? I kind of told him it's on the house. You're gonna do it yourself then? In episode two, uh, Elmo gives him a scapegoat, essentially, or he gives Elmo the, the opportunity to give him a scapegoat. He says, look, it's not going to work for both these Elmos, so you're going to have to tell me where, you know, where is your cousin? How can I find him? How can I murder him? You know, and basically, it, it's a kind of a horror, it's a horrible moment because Elmo has to um, be a Judas, basically, and, and sell his cousin down the river. Uh, so, I mean, I suppose there is a, a redeeming sense there. I mean, he's, uh, he has no qualms, not, not no qualms about murdering somebody, but he just, he knows that in this situation, somebody has to get murdered. And if someone doesn't, you know, whoever hasn't performed their job uh, is accountable. So I think just, you know, the book can't be passed. So they do, they hatch a little plan to save Elmo. This is a mess, Darren. I got the cousin, didn't I? That wasn't the point! I think Nidge, Nidge character is aware that Darren is the only guy he can trust to get a job done. Because he's never failed in the past with having to kill someone. Um, but then he, he, starts, he starts messing him about and not paying him the money for, for the job. And <coughs> uh, I think that's caused tension and stuff. And so... It, Basically, you know, the pressure that Nidge is under causes huge tension in other parts of his life. And the relationship between Nidge and Darren becomes quite stressed and strained. Tommy cares about Debbie, I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Debbie is in love with Tommy, I believe. I think on France, the half he's into Debbie in a sort of a, you know, she's a prostitute. And he, li I think he likes Debbie, but I think Debbie's just getting her money there. and. I don't know, like, we'll see what happens. It could develop. Like, Peter Coon is an incredible actor, so I would love to do more scenes of him and more work with him, but I, don't, I really don't know what's going to happen. We'll have to see. <laughs> men are different from women. Women care about the feelings and the emotions and stuff, whereas men want to know, you know, was I better than him? Was he better than me? And um, and he Stuart deals that in the script in a really nice way, really interesting. It's not love in, in, in a kind of genuine, pure way. I mean, it, the whole thing with Debbie always initiated for me. Like, of course, there was a, there's a sexual attraction, like, but it was primarily this sort of, um, sort of protective thing, you know, seeing how dangerous a character a figure John Boy was with her and, and, and having empathy, <clears throat> amazingly, sort of within this world that we all occupied to have some level of empathy or concern for this person in the situation she was in. Obviously, everything is, is, is in a really bad place with Siobhan on the domestic front. Mm -hmm. So I suppose in some in some ways it's sort of um, it is sort of a release. It's it's sort of it's away from that. But then at the same time, it's problematic in itself. So it's just moving from one degree of dysfunction to another. I wanted to talk to you about Siobhan. Nidge's reaction to the to the rape <coughs> of Siobhan and uh, and my like sort of stat my my beating of him. You know. <laughs> He just starts kind of attacking her, like, you know, giving out to her and, and, and giving out to me and, and being very aggressive with both of us. And, you know, so the question is, I, you know, you get the sense that he has lost all sense of any, any sort of uh, ethical sort of integrity. Not that he probably ever had any to begin with, but whatever he might have had is sort of just sort of slipping out of his grasp as his power is potentially slipping away, which he's trying to grasp onto. So, um... So I, I don't think I don't think we'd be going out for dinner together anytime <laughs> soon. Do you know what I mean? pal, you out there fading on me? You all right, buddy? What time is it? Time for the early house, Niji. You up for it? No. Better keep the head straight. <laughs>